All right, section 4.2, we're going to do numbers 29 through 36. Here it says add the polynomials. Really, all adding the polynomials? That's just combining like terms. That's it, that's it. So here we have a 3x and an x, that makes us 4x. Negative 2 and a plus 5, that gives us a plus 3. Number 30, here we have a 4a, that's a monomial, plus this binomial over here. 4a plus 2a is 6a, and minus 5. Number 31, here we have an x squared and an x squared, so negative 7x squared plus 3x squared, that's a negative 4x squared. We have a 5y and a 12y, so that gives us um, 17y. Uh, there's the 17, negative 17 is over there, and this guy's by himself, negative 4x. Now, we could have had the 17 in a different place or moved these around a little bit, and that would be perfectly fine. Um, but normally, descending order is pretty, pretty standard. All right, let's try it. 5x to the 4th and 4x to the 4th. Just add those together and we get a 9x to the 4th. Now, some of you will find it beneficial to add these by writing this underneath like this. Now, if you do, that's great. Um, it may help you to see it a little bit better. There's no x squared over there, but there's a plus x right there. So you can just do it that way and get 9x to the fourth, then negative 1 and 4, that's a positive 3x cubed, plus 3x squared, plus an x, minus a 5. And uh, that may help you do it a little bit better, um, just to see them lined up, and so the terms are always in columns make it easier. Okay, so subtract. Remember the big thing about subtracting the polynomial is that you are going to take this negative and distribute it. Then it becomes an addition problem. So this comes in and makes that a negative 4x and a negative 3. Then we are left with the 5x and a negative 4x, that's 1x, and 2 minus 3, that's a negative 1. So x minus 1. Number 34. We're going to take that negative sign and make sure and distribute it everywhere. So we get 3x squared and a negative 9x squared gives us negative 6x squared. Negative x and negative x, that's a negative 2x. And then 7 and a negative 8, that's a minus 1. Good. Number 35. Distribute this negative. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm going to take some time and actually write this one down. 4y to the 7th plus x squared plus 6y minus 6y to the 7th plus 5y to the 5th minus 11x squared plus y minus 17. Hoo-wee. Now let's see if we can identify what the, what's the same here. Okay, so that guy and that guy are the same. So we have a negative 2y to the 7th. Good. Then we have a plus x squared and a minus 11x squared. That's minus 10x squared. Um, uh, we have a y to the fifth here. That's all by himself. Plus 5y to the fifth. Then the y's. Uh, we could do that guy and that guy. That's plus 7y. And then minus 17. Boy, that was a big one. And if you wanted to, you could write this in descending order with uh, this guy put over here and that guy put over there. That's fine. But uh, if it doesn't say to, it's not absolutely necessary. And number 36. Let's take this minus and go here, here, and there. And that'll make that a plus. Make that a minus. And make that a plus. Good. 6a cubed plus a cubed, that's 7a cubed, minus b cubed, minus 2b cubed, that's minus 3b cubed, and then plus b squared, plus b squared, that's plus 2b squared. Good.